Hello and welcome to Penguin TV. It is recorded by George Eflis, a.k.a. Wiffy Penguin, and you can follow me on Twitter at Wiffy Penguin. Penguin TV is hosted by PureMTGO.com and sponsored by MTGOTraders.com. Get an 8% discount off all orders over $50 when paying with PayPal or credit card. And you can check out KeepYourGames.com and get an extra 20% off when trading paper for digital. Enjoy the videos. Hey everybody, we're back for round two. We're up against Mooncon. Let's see what he was playing. Mooncon, there you are. He beat Cat Weasel. So I'm gonna try and avenge her fallenness. And Moon is also on workshops. So, let's see if my goblin welders will help me. Yes, I would like to take them all again. Good luck there. Oh, perfect. A goblin welder to start with? No, I would not like to take them all again. So, we both mold the six. Unfortunately, he is on the play. And it looks like we might have a turn one lodestone golem. So, I... Sphere of Resistance. Yeah, let's... Let's wasteland his Mishra's Workshop. Maybe we can kill him with his Mana Crypt. Not quite sure why he led with that. Maybe he wanted to cast something big on this turn. Phyrexian Revoker. Um, I would guess Goblin Welder. He definitely saw Goblin Welder in game two. There we go. Alright, so we've got a Metal Worker. Maybe we can go infinite with Metal Worker. So our build has some Batter Skulls and Worm Coil Engines to help us get uh, past the late game. I don't know if Mooncon is running these things. Alright, he decides to waste my Ancient Tomb. That's going to let me play Metal Worker next turn.
Oh no, what's he playing? Phyrexian Metamorph. Yes, I will block your guy. If I top deck a staff, it's all over. So, what do I want? I want a Wasteland for this Academy, because that gives him three mana that he can spend on anything. Ooh, a Slash Panther. Well, I'm going to have to take that and then block with my Golem. Four, five, six, seven, eight mana available to us. Let's block the Revoker. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. He's got a lot of mana still. It's unfortunate. Revoker? Oh, a Null Rod. Alright, so Metal Worker is just gonna sit there. Um. Yes, this looks awesome. And we will attack with the Lodestone Golem. I don't think there's any way he can beat us unless he drops a Worm Coil Engine or a Steel Hellkite. He can't really attack into the Metal Worker. And we've got Wastelands in the graveyard. He does have a mountain of mana. So, our plan is to Wasteland the Academy. First, we're going to play this Phyrexian Revoker. Naming Mana Crypt. And then we shall wasteland away the Talarian Academy. 
and attack you down to two. All right. <coughs> and that's game. Good game. Off to number dose with our welder shop deck. All right. Uh, we want the duplicates for sure. And I think we might want the Triskelions. And we want to take out all the spheres. Put in another Phyrexian Revoker, another Crucible of Worlds. There we go. And submit. Alright, so we've got lots of sixes. Hopefully he pulled out his spheres as well. So that we can actually cast our sixes. Interesting to notice that there are no Phyrexian Revokers or uh, Phyrexian Metamorphs in this build. It's kind of interesting. Um, this is a straight up net deck. And, yeah, Goblin Welder. I love me some Goblin Welder. Um... Let's see. Turn one, Lodestone? No, we won't take a mulligan. We'll try it. So he did leave in his spheres. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for our worm coil engine, which is going to be the play. Oof, it's a lot of damage. He drops uh, another Sphere of Resistance. Okay, Thorn of Amethyst, good times. And let the Worm Coil commence. I would love a Mishra's Workshop, that way I could drop down a Duplicant. Steal one of his Panthers and get in there. If he has a Duplicant of his own, well, then the game's over. Precursor Golem. That is a lot of Golems. A lot of damage.
block these two guys, take nine, and I'll be at five, four. Oh my, what's what's happening? Triskillian, that'll be good game. I'm pretty sure. Take four, seven, ten, thirteen. Yeah, that's game. You got me with all these brown men, silver men. Uh, we're going to submit just the way we had it. Hope for a more aggressive draw this time. Oh, spectacular. Uh, do we want to keep this, though? 21 Goblin Welder, and that's really it? Yeah, we'll keep it. Goblin Welder's pretty good. Hopefully we'll draw into some Mana Land action. Mulligan once. Alright, so welder, and then we're gonna strip mine his first land drop. What would be a good uh, card for us to draw? I guess Mishra's Workshop would be the best card we could draw. City of Traders, not quite what we were looking for. Although any land or artifact will get us to the five for Lodestone. And if we ever get to six, we can merc a creature like that one. have to roll with this. Come on, workshop. Or, no, Crucible Worlds won't help us. We need another land.
wonder if he's thinking about wastelanding my city of traitors. Wouldn't be the worst thing he could do. Ugh. He drew a workshop? That seems terrible. So now he has access to a million mana. All right, I really need to draw land. Of course I draw another six. All right. Not looking great. Not looking great. Be nice if we could draw Mishra's Workshop. Oh, Antlorian Academy? Fantastic. You've just got everything, don't you? What did he just play? Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph. And now I'm dead. Hooray. Well, I'm not quite dead yet. But I'm getting close to being dead. One, two, three. Yeah, even... This is no bueno. No bueno indeed. Alright, so... Mishra's Workshop off the top so that we can cast a Lodestone Golem. Oh boy, another Wasteland? Well, he just drew pretty perfect this both of these last two games. It's a little unfortunate, but there's not much I can do about it. I needed lands earlier. Maybe I should have mulliganed. Maybe the Goblin Welder wasn't good enough, since it didn't really do anything for me. And that's that. Good games. I'll see you guys for round uh, three. Hey there, everybody. We're back for round three. Uh, we're up against CS4Cash, who I don't think I've ever seen before. So uh, if that's the case, welcome to Classic. I hope you stick around because this is a fantastical format. Uh, let us see what CS4Cash is playing. Metamorphos, Surgical Extraction, so he's playing some kind of a Storm deck. Oh, he's playing a Past and Flames deck. Could be terrible against Workshops. Not sure, though. Good luck. Uh, seems good. We're going to lead off with Thorn, and then uh, Metalworker. Dude, we do need some more Spear action, though, if we're going to keep him locked out. And 
and that's the game on turn one. All right, so we might be in for an easy match. Doesn't look like he can beat Spears. What do we not need? We don't need all of these guys. And we'll just bring in the graveyard hate. Graveyard hate and spears and chalices and our own infi combo. Good luck. Well, this hand just doesn't seem fair at all. Although he can tendrils us out, we don't have a spear. Uh oh, Mulligan to four. Mulligan to three, this is no good. Two, I feel a concession coming. Your son is awake, that's why you had to mulligan, or that's why you're conceding? Either way, I hope you come back for another event, sir. Um, Alright, so, that was a very fast match. Um, we would have led with Double Leyline and Ancient Tomb. And then played a Metal Worker on the next turn. So, that was round three. I will see you guys for round four. And uh, back to Skyrim with my level 43 duder. See you guys in a few.